Now, I read a news article recently that stated Nicole Hannah Jones decision to turn down a tenure faculty position at UNC Chapel Hill and instead take one at Howard University uh, sent shock waves across academia. Now for me, I'm excited because as a Sigma man, I just think it's great that she chose to go to Howard University, the birthplace of my fraternity, and really the cradle of a lot of great movements and thinkers throughout history. Uh, so they were saying that the shock was mainly because it is believed that a predominantly white institution offers the greatest opportunity for scholars, particularly black scholars. And so getting a faculty position and a tenure faculty position in that is the pinnacle of success. Uh, and instead viewing a HBCU position as not so much on the same level, right? And so I think that for me though, the real shock lies in UNC's failure to realize the implication of the Board of Trustees decision to deny her tenure in the first place. I mean, think about this. There is a level of arrogance displayed by the institution. Like they probably thought she needed this position. Think about that. A Pulitzer Prize winner, an accomplished journalist. Like, do you think she really needs to serve on the faculty at any institution? She's accomplished, She's she has a great career, she is doing meaningful work in the world and for herself, right? So to me, the real shock here, right, and the part that I think maybe is getting overlooked by some, is that Miss Hannah Jones, she acted on her value. She created a better opportunity for herself. She did not accept the crumbs that were being thrown at her. Like, she made a seat at a table played it with a feast worthy of her celebration. Now that's power. Nicole Hannah Jones' battle for tenure is indicative of higher education stance on diversity, equity, and inclusion. See, to me, I think the DEI efforts in higher education seem to be less about performing structural changes and being more about performance. It's the performative. In essence, lip service. Right. I, I do think that colleges and universities want to be more open and welcoming of various perspectives and people and identities. I think so. I also think they encourage and support these perspectives as long as they do not rock their base. Who's their base? Great question. I think those with the money form the core of the base, right? Of that group that influences major decisions in, at the institutional level. I.e. how in Ms. Hannah Jones' situation, one donor can say, hey, I don't agree with her views, therefore, because I give money, you can't give her tenure. That's a prime example of that. Now, I mentioned donors, but it can also just be alumni, maybe business partners, those essential stakeholders that have a key say and can influence decisions on the campus. Now, I've seen their influence firsthand, um, especially when you talk about hiring decisions of who gets promoted where. Like I've seen people get elevated to roles that maybe they were not qualified for, or perhaps that they were not the best fit. Had qualities, but maybe were not the best fit, right? I think that sometimes people who can support the status quo end up getting elevated into these roles that are supposed to support various the perspectives and identities but instead of doing the work to support them what they're actually doing is upholding these systems that oppress and that's very concerning right like i think we need to understand that uh that we the higher ed has to go beyond these buzzwords that we use you know assessment equitable spaces inclusion serving leadership right and the list can go on and on right dei is less about performance stunts right like i think dei has become the latest gimmick for colleges and universities to attract students, faculty, and staff and cover up their failures, right? For not creating the kind of environment where students can thrive, where all identities can really find a way to express themselves and seek the support that they need. But now I'm not a cynic, right? Like I, I do believe that we can act 
with the best interest of others in mind, even when we're trying to pursue something that may be beneficial to us. I don't think the two are mutually exclusive. I think that we have to be prepared and think about how do we bring them together? How do we close that gap, right? Like that's an important piece for us to keep in mind throughout all this, right? And so think about this, right? That when we act without actionable steps, it's just that, it's an act. It's a dramatic performance executed for the purposes of looking righteous to the world, right? And the thing is that diversity, equity, and inclusion, it, it doesn't have to be an act. It can be something that is truly transformative, an experience that makes everyone involved be better and grow and really go out there and impact the world in a, in a very positive manner. So what's it going to be higher ed? Are you going to act or are you going to transform?